In fact, I thought we should have more on array indexing because we've been dealing with a, a vector or only one dimensional array, but let's do it for two or more dimensional arrays to just understand fully how uh, indexing works. So, so let's create a multi-dimensional array. Um, let's say ARR, sorry, ARR equals NP of a range, and let's create something like um, array of 90 elements. Okay, so ARR now has 90 elements, and let's reshape it. So ARR equals ARR dot reshape. If we reshape it into 9 by 10, so ARR now is a 9 by 10 array, so 9 rows and 10 columns, as you can see. Now, because it's two dimensional, that means we can use two indices one for the first array, the first dimension and the other for the second array. We saw in the uh, in one of the previous videos how to, uh, in fact, we can do that. So the shape now is nine by 10, nine rows and 10 columns, okay? So to access, to access any elements, um, we can say, um, give me element one, so zero one in the, second array. Remember we said uh, indexing starts from zero, so when we say element one or element at index one, that means it's the second element. So this is the second element in the second array and that's 11. So this is the first one, the second array, and this is the second element which is 11. I hope the idea makes sense. Okay, um, we can do that using the comma, so within the same uh, square brackets, or we can also do this. And it gives us the same result, right? It gives us the same result, right? So one by one, or I can say, you know, give me the fifth element. So element at index four, the fifth element in the sixth array. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the sixth array and the fifth element, zero, one, two, three, four. It'll be 54. What did I say, 54 or 45? Uh, okay, so give me the fifth element in the sixth array. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then zero, one, two, three, four. Oh, it looks like I am dizzy. 